Hey, welcome back to the channel. So today I woke up and realized I had just crossed 3,000 followers on Twitter. So growing on Twitter has been one of the best decisions I've made for my business this year. It's led to multiple five figures in info product, coaching and consulting sales, hundreds of new people joining my email list, and also new connections and friendships with multimillionaires that I wouldn't have met if I didn't start on Twitter. So I spent the past few hours digging into my different content and all the tweets that I've made over these past four months. And I found that the most and highest engaged posts that helped me to grow my following the fastest fell into three different buckets or content types. So if you watch this video until the end, you'll discover what those three content types are that helped me to grow to 3000 plus followers so that you can save a ton of time and headache growing your own Twitter audience and so that you can experience all these benefits of having a Twitter audience for yourself. So let's dive into my computer right now. I'll show you what these three content types are and also examples of my top performing tweets that fall into these different content types and content buckets. So let's dive in right now. All right, so here we are. This is a tool called ilo.so, and I use this tool to track all of the performance of my tweets and what's getting the most impressions and engagements and, and clicks to my profile. So this is a really handy tool to use. I think I pay 10 or $15 a month for this, and it helps me to track all of my best performing tweets here. So let's dive into what these content types are now, and I'm gonna click on each of these tweets here. I'm gonna show you some examples of each of those content types in action. So the first content type that's led to me getting over 3,000 followers in four months is practical content. And practical content is step-by-step -step or how-to content where someone can read it and immediately put it to use, right? They can immediately take it and start taking action and putting it into use in their business or their life or whatever it is. So a lot of people default to this content type. They think this is the only type of content they can post is this how-to and valuable step-by-step -step content, but it's there's only so much how-to that you can post. So this is great content to use as part of your strategy, but not the entire strategy if you wanna do this and post content consistently in the long term. So here's an example of a practical style content. If I click on this, this is known as a thread on Twitter. And if I click on this, you can see this is a thread about what I learned from some of the top Twitter growth courses. And so if I go to this thread, I click here, it goes step-by-step step into what they need to do to grow on Twitter the right way, right? Grow an audience. So you can see step one, here's what to do. Here's exactly how to do it. Here's some examples, right? Step two is somewhere here. Here's step two, pick three main content pillars. So I'm telling the person exactly what to do and how to do it in this thread here. So this is an example of practical content where someone can immediately read this and start doing this and applying it to their Twitter profile and seeing results right away. So here's another example of practical content. I usually do one of these every week. Uh, here's another one here, All right? Three email marketing services you can offer right now to bag an extra 1K to 5K per month, even if you're a beginner. So uh, again, I'm going into what they can do and exactly how to do it. Here's what the service is. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna pick a niche, you're gonna build a list, you're gonna send your, uh, your lead list a cold email, uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm telling them exactly what to do. Someone can take this and go and start doing it tomorrow if they really wanted to. So that's these are a couple examples of practical content. I post usually one of these every week where it's a thread and it goes step by step and how to do something or how to get a specific result. And this is content type or content bucket number one that, that helps me to grow my audience to over 3,000 followers in four months. Content type number two, and this is kind of a fun one depending on your personality type, but I call this pot stirring content. Now pot stirring content is controversial content where you're taking a stance on something that you know is gonna get some kind of engagement or might cause a bit of drama or might cause a bit of ruffle some feathers and it's designed to get a lot of engagement, right? Comments and retweets and likes and just getting people to engage with you. So the one thing about this, you need to be careful. Uh, you need to have some finesse when you're doing this. You don't wanna just go out and start insulting people and pissing people off. You're gonna have unfollows when you post this kind of content because you're taking a strong stance or opinion in one area and anyone who doesn't agree with that is gonna end up unfollowing you. Now the upside is, number one, you're gonna get a ton of engagement on your posts. And number two is the people who do agree with you are gonna become diehard fans with you and your message, right? So the people who are on your side become huge fans of yours because they resonate so strongly with whatever stance you're taking. Now, if you wanna see two really good experts at using these pot-stirring types of posts, 
or content pieces, look no further than Ben Settle. You probably know him if I've talked about him a few times on my channel. And also Donald Trump when he was president. If you look at his tweets and you look at the, the things that he would say, he was a expert pot stirrer. He got people really riled up, but he also had really huge diehard fans on his side. Okay, so here's some examples of pot stirring posts. Um, here's one that I made recently that got pretty good engagement. I feel like if I click on it here, just thinking out loud here, if you're vaxxed, why does it matter if someone else isn't vaxxed unless you don't trust the effectiveness of the vax? Okay, this is gonna get some very strong opinions on both sides, and it did, right? 442 likes, there's 35 retweets, there's also 50 comments with people who were really against me and people who were really with me on, on my side of, you can probably tell which side of this I'm on, but uh, there are strong opinions on both sides and I did get a ton of unfollows from this, but I also got a lot of new followers from people who did agree with my stance or opinion here, right? So this is this got 75,000 impressions, a ton of engagement here, comments, retweets, likes, and people also reached out to me through the DMs to share their thoughts, whether they were with me or against me. Here is another one, and I like to do this. This is also called on Twitter, it's called shit posting, and it's just making fun or poking fun at something that, that might have happened uh, to you in your life, or maybe someone sent you a funny message. Here's an example of one here. You know how I know you're broke. <laughs> this one got pretty good results. Uh, someone sent me this message that they didn't like my cover photo, and I just poked fun at it, right? So this is like a pot stirring post, right? Uh, some people are gonna get upset. They're gonna say, hey, you're, you're not sensitive. You shouldn't be sharing people's messages. Uh, I blocked out their name, but you know this is gonna cause opinions on both sides, right? Let's take a look at one more. What's another one here? Here's one more, right? This is another pot stirring type of post. So this is poking fun at people who just ask me for free help or free guidance. And this one actually doesn't have a ton of likes, but it led to a lot of people, I think over 150 people ended up following me because of this one post here. So all I did was, was take a screenshot of this guy that was asking me for free help, and I just said, what's in it for me? Right? And just poking fun at the situation here. Uh, so this got me not a ton of engagement, but a lot of people following me, new followers, because they thought this was funny, and they a lot of people actually are on the receiving end of this as well, right? People asking for free stuff or free help free products and services. Uh, a lot of people who are in the spotlight or who are posting content get the same type of messages. So that's an example of pot stirring posts. Again, it's designed to get engagement, but you have to have finesse around this. You don't wanna be straight up insulting people. You don't wanna be pissing people off or they're gonna start canceling you. But your goal here is to have some kind of stance or opinion that you know is gonna get some kind of engagement. And that's exactly what it's designed to do, is to get engagement, whether it's people agreeing with you or disagreeing with you. So content type number three, that's helped me to grow my Twitter audience and Twitter following pretty quickly, is personal content, right? And this could be in the form of lifestyle posts, it could be in the form of lessons you learned, it could be in the form of personal results that you've had. Maybe you're going out and you're losing weight and you're tracking your journey, or maybe you're growing a new business or starting a new business and you're sharing your results there. So these personal posts, are designed to show people who you are as a person and what you're working on and the values that you're, you're standing for and the mission that you're on. So here's an example of one I made yesterday. I got married a couple days ago and I made this post here. All it was was a picture of me and Jackie who is uh, my now wife and we, were, we got married at our apartment building and it's just a picture of us just popping some champagne. And this is my most viewed post now and most engaged post it got, where are we at now? 204,000 impressions. Uh, over 4,500 people clicked over to my profile. This led to over 400 people becoming new followers so far and it's still running right now. This was posted less than a day ago and it's already my highest performing posts. So this is an example of a personal post. It shows who I am as a person. I'm having fun. People also wanna congratulate me on the big day. So uh, you can see here, most engaged post it hasn't even been live for 24 hours yet and it's led to the most amount of followers from my profile and it helps people to feel like they have a bond with me, like they know me and they're friends of mine, right? So it shows who I am as a person, it shows the personal side and it also shows a little bit into my lifestyle, like where I live and my, my now wife, Jackie. And uh, yeah, it just shows who I am as a person, helps to build a relationship with my audience and people feel more connected to me through these personal style posts. 
So let's take a look at another one here. This is another example of a personal style post, but it's more along the lines of personal results. This one led to, I think, a couple hundred followers in a day. And this was when I relaunched uh, a course that I have called the Email Side Hustle Program. And it shared the results of doing that, right? So I reopened it. It did all this, this money and cash collected and revenue. And here's how I did it. And here's the lesson, right? Right offer to the right person at the right time equals this little graph here. Um, so this just shows a little insight into the personal results that I'm having with my business. And people also respect this because they're seeing results of me working on my business and getting results with my business. So this is another example of what I consider a personal style post. So that about wraps up the three content types that helped me to grow to over 3,000 followers on Twitter in just four months. Again, those three content types, number one is practical or how-to step-by-step style content. Number two is pot stirring or controversial content that's designed to get engagement. And content type number three is personal style content that shows who you are as a person and the results that you're getting, whether you're in your life, you're working on something in your life or in your business, and also showing your values and your mission as well. And like I said earlier, it's been one of the best decisions I've made for growing my business this year. It's led to multiple five figures in sales for info products, coaching, and consulting. And also I've made connections and friendships with multimillionaires that will be worth far more than that over the next few years. So if you got value out of this video, make sure you give it a like, and I hope you use these content types, practical content, pot stirring content, and personal content to grow and profit from your own Twitter audience as well. If you want more content around growing an audience online, and also creating internet income, make sure you subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you next week. Take it easy.